So orange is our color today. Um, let's go ahead and open our yellow language arts booklet. And whoops, okay, so we're gonna take out this um, booklet right here. It has the word go on the front. And we're actually working on the last page today, okay? Um, we're on the word orange, okay? And um, we're gonna start with a pencil. It says all about orange, okay? So, um, you know what, I'm gonna actually ask you to start with a crayon, um, your orange crayon. Mine's a little nub of a thing broken here, but there it is. It's, we're gonna color the crayon orange first, so we have. And look, I have an orange cat joining me today. How many things do you have around your house that's orange? Is it a popular color, or are there more things other colors around your house? Um, Go. Okay, and orange is named after the fruit, or the fruit is named after orange, one or the other. Okay, all right, now we've got orange, all about orange. So there's the orange crayon. So on this page, what here, what we're gonna do is look in this box, in this section, and only circle the word orange where you see it. So a um, couple things to note, one, two, three, four, five, six. Orange has six letters, starts with an O, it has, um, if you look at the first one here, when it's all lowercase, it's short, 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 long, short. That's its pattern, okay? So for instance, this word only has three, so we can cross that out. That's the word or, by the way. This, is, this one only has four letters, so one, two, three, four. That's the word over, by the way. Now here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have short, 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 long, short. O-R-A-N-G-E, there's our orange again, okay? O-R-C-A, that's the word orca, okay? That's a whale, right? O-P-E-N, that's the word open. O-R-G-A-N, -O organ, that's like something that's inside your body, like your heart and your lungs. O-R-D-E-R, order, that's when you like line up in order from first to last. O-R-A-N-G-E, there it is, orange. O-N-L, only, that means when you have maybe only one left. O-N-T-O, onto, that's when you like put a book onto something or put a hat onto your snowman's head. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O U C H, ouch. That's when you get. That's when something hurts you, right? Like if you get a bee sting, that's an ouch. O C E A N. That's the word ocean. That's the big blue um, bit of water we have here in Southern California. We're gonna cross that out. And O A T S, oats. That's what they make oatmeal from. And horses like to eat those too, right? Okay. Now we're not quite done. You have to go back and count. How many times did you find the word orange? You're gonna count it, okay? So when I count, I always like to put a little line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna write my seven right there. And that's it, we're done with that section, okay? Down here is kind of the fun part. Okay, it says draw a picture using your orange crayon. Okay, so I'm gonna use my orange crayon. Where's that little short thing? Here it is. So I am going to draw, I know what I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna to try to draw a basketball. I'm trying to remember, it's got, I think lines like this, lines like this, lines like that, I'm not sure, but kind of a basketball, okay? So you can draw an orange, you can draw a cat if you have an orange cat. So draw a picture of something orange there. I'll just color that in. And I'll color a little bit on his paintbrush since he's coloring that orange. And then over here, this is the part that I really love. I don't know about you, but I do. I'm gonna get orange, and then you're gonna pull every color out of your crayon box that looks like it has a little bit of orange in it. And then pull out your white. And your gray. And a yellow. And even a pink. Okay. So, um, 
Oh, there's my gray crayon. It's another short one. Okay, so I'm going to see how I put those. I pulled those out. Okay, so it said shades of orange. So the first little splotch of color, I'm just going to color with my orange. Okay, that's one's done. So what's, what's another shade of orange? I might have two of the same. This one says scarlet. Oh, but this one says red orange. So we're going to compare them to see how different they are. Okay, so there's scarlet, right? Or this is the red orange. Okay, so that one does look a little bit different. And now this one's the scarlet. And that one looks a little bit different too, slightly. Okay, and then this one says yellow orange. Okay, so and this one says it's look. This one says apricot. Okay, so that's a really light shade of orange. You can almost can't really see it. Now the last thing you're going to do, um, actually I'm not going to use my yellow, I'm going to take my gray and put it here, a little bit of gray, and then I'm going to color over that with my orange crayon and see what the gray does to the orange here, a little bit of an experiment. Yeah, it looks okay, it kind of makes it a little bit duller, okay. All right, that's it. Okay, we're done with this activity here, working with orange. Go ahead and give yourself an exit ticket there. Okay. And then this goes back to me now. So that means you have to put it inside your green folder, okay? Just like that. Okay, so um, if you'll notice, this folder is empty. It doesn't have anything in it any longer. So that means tomorrow we'll work in our spiral notebook for a fun activity with our language arts, okay? And then let's go ahead and end every day as we always do. And I've got Cali Cat here to help me. We're gonna do our closing prayer and we're doing our angel prayer. Here we go, right there. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. St. Lawrence Martyr, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.